What's up everyone, J. Smith Jordan's here with another sneaker review, but before we get into it, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, give this video a like if you like it, and follow me on Instagram and Twitter at J. Smith Jordan's. And if you guys didn't get a chance, make sure you check out the last video that I dropped because it has all the information about the Jordan 1 giveaway that I'm doing. And if you want to enter the giveaway, go check out that video. Like I said, it's got all the information about it. <clears throat> and as you guys see, I have a Jordan 1 box in front of me, except for it's not black. It's got that dark brown mocha color. Most of us know what's in here. For those who don't, let's take a look. Here you got your Nike branding on the sides. <clears throat> You have your Nike branding at the top of the lid. And for the label, it reads, size 12, personal pair, Air Jordan 1, low, OG, SP, slash T, and the color is Black Cell, Dark Mocha, and suggested retail on these is 130. These did drop on the Travis Scott website, and then they dropped on the sneaker app the next day on a surprise draw or surprise raffle, however you wanna say it. And I was lucky enough to get mine off of the Nike one. Uh, I tried to get it off the Travis Scott, but it just uh, it sold out before it even took my order. Order. So I'm, I'm very happy that I did get a pair for retail and from Nike because I also hit on the Travis Scott one highs off of Nike also. But anyways, let's get into them and see what they're about. <clears throat> you just got your plain red lid. They gave us that pink paper. For those who didn't see it before, you have your Travis Scott branding, your uh, Jordan 1 Wings uh, branding, and you have your Nike Air branding and Cactus Jack. Underneath that, they give us some white tissue paper. And there's the sneakers. Let's get them out, take a look at them. And there is a quality control stamp in this box. Show you guys. See it right there. So here they are. Your uh, Jordan 1 Low Travis Scott's. And right off uh, hand, I can tell you that they're fire. The material that they use for these sneakers is uh, A+. It's just like your uh, Travis 1 uh, highs that they came out with. Or your Jordan 1 Travis Scott highs that they came out with. But anyways, let's take a look at them. On the bottom, <clears throat> you have your Jordan 1 sole in a dark mocha color. Your Nike branding in the middle. Going up to the midsole, you have your cell white color. Going up to the upper... You see you got your huge Nike swoosh that's in a, a white tumbled leather and it's really nice leather. Behind that you have a, a new buck material in the black color which is really really nice new buck. And then after that you pretty much have your brown suede running around the whole shoe. On the inside panel you have a brown regular Nike swoosh. And then behind it, you actually have Cactus Jack branding, so that's pretty nice. And the material is A plus on these. On top of the toe box, you have your black new buck. Going up from there, they give us uh, wax shoelaces, and the tongue is actually made of nylon. Going up from there, you have your Nike branding at the top, and you have your Cactus Jack branding on the corner, which is really nice. On the heel of the shoe, you have your Jordan 1's wings, or your Jordan uh, wings logo. And then on the opposite pair, you have your Travis Scott's, or Cactus Jack logo. Other than that, the sneakers are pretty much the same. The insides of the sneakers are a little bit different. And they did give us extra shoelaces with these too. They gave us a pair of wax red shoelaces, and then a, pa a pair of regular fat pink shoelaces, and then a pair of uh, black fat shoelaces. Get the shoe tree out of here. On the inside of this one, you have a Jordan logo, Jumpman logo. Let's see if I can get it. You have a Jumpman logo, and then you got the Cactus Jack logo at the top of the sole, inside sole. And then on this one, you just have the Nike Air logo, and you have the Travis Scott name going across right there. You guys can see a little bit. But yeah, these are really nice. The material's A plus on these. <clears throat> they seem like they are pretty limited. It seems like the Jordan uh, One Travis Scott highs. There was more pair of those than they are the lows, just because they dropped uh, a lot more places than just the lows. And uh, on the sneaker app, they had a regular drop, and these were a raffle. So I think that these are a little bit more limited. Now, if I was be able to have to only pick one pair, I would still go with the Travis Scott highs, of course. I just like the highs personally. I only have one other pair of uh, Jordan 1 Low in my collection, and it's a Jordan 1 Low SB, the one that just dropped, which is right here. And the material on here is crazy too, actually. 
But yeah, those are the two lows that I have in my collection. But I'm happy to have these in my collection. I'll definitely be picking up the Jordan. Uh, I'll definitely picking up the Jordan Six Travis Scotts when they drop. Even if I don't get them for retail, I'll pay aftermarket. And yeah, I'm not sure what next shoe I'll be reviewing. I do have uh, the Jordan One Yellow Toes coming in so it should be here sometime this week <clears throat> and uh i know we have some sneakers dropping this weekend i'm sure i'll be picking up so i'll definitely be seeing you guys on the next one make sure you guys stay safe and i i appreciate all the support and you guys stay safe see you on the next one